Um, where's my stuff? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> after having a bit of chaos happen, um, full of character, a spot. My brain just zooted. Fuck. <laughs> Polakarate Aspazista es Omiklon Nuktos. Many greetings. Welcome to the Mist of Night. Um, that was weird. My computer wasn't even wanting to run OBS for a little bit and then just now decided right as I was gonna give up on the idea of streaming, it was fine. Like, what? It's fucking weird. And I need to update pronouns and shit. Oh yeah, I was gonna send that one. Oops. Okay. We will be playing Have a Nice Death, but give me a minute as... Because of all the <laughs> chaos, I didn't get um, to post anywhere yet. So I'm gonna do that real quick right now. out in the end, but that was fucking weird. Since you're up, wanna give me a lurk? I said, since you're up, want to give me a lurk? I'm already in. Okay, I wasn't sure. Jack just got fucking yeeted. Yeah. I take your voice off.
<sighs> and it's now registering my controller again, which is good. Um, let me turn the volume on, because while I was fucking with things, I turned all of this off. Oh jeez, that's why I'm getting so badly over him. My computer volume was at a hundred. Why? What? What'd you say? I said sweetheart. Gosh. I don't know why it was at a hundred, okay? I usually keep at like 30. Now that that's all done. Wait, I forgot. Oops. Actually, uh, there is a place I forgot about. <laughs> As I get this done, we will start. That's done. Ah, shoot, that's not the button. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we should be good. Yeah, everything's running fine now. That was fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, and I'm streaming. 3,000 kilobytes consistently. Jeez. I'm wondering if my computer's just not capable of 6,000 kilobytes. Probably. Because of it being a laptop or something? Maybe it's a restriction of laptops? Probably.
Oh, they pissed off death. You know, that, that's a fucking mood, though. You can't just make it up as you go along, you know. We have a well-established procedure. What you have to do is... Oh, why? It's the CEO himself. Excellent timing, sir. Oh, hell's broken loose. Brad has decided to let all the souls in without proper inspection. All of our departments are overwhelmed, as am I. Uh. Try to argue with your asshole sorrows, please. Welcome back, Mr. CEO, and have a nice death. <laughs> What the fuck is his design? Is he a... Must be like a PE teacher or something! The fuck? <laughs> Can't even decide on a voice to do right now. <laughs> I'm just so baffled. I'm trying to decide if I should go deep or annoying. <laughs> Why not both? Figure out a way to do deep and annoying. Oh fuck. I don't know how to do that because deep sounds sexy to me. I, I just thought of one. You go deep but go like <laughs> exorbitantly stereotypically southern. Like stereotypically redneck levels. But also, that kind of sounds hot sometimes, though. So do something kind of like, Hey, Road, so ready to get to the Death Incorporated house in order? Just don't go, just don't go south. No, what you do? Playing and anything right at the start, eh? <laughs> That flustered me in all the wrong ways. <laughs> it's not flustered like usual flustering. It is pity fluster. Ah. <laughs> like that was so fucking bad, dude. It was on purpose. I know. <laughs> Hey boss, so ready to get to the get the Death Ink house in order? Just don't go spreading anything right at the start, eh? Ready for the warm up? I want to hear those bones cracking. Chop chop. I went annoying because anyone who exercises that much is usually 
and is trying to get you to exercise as the most annoying person in existence. Like, if I want to exercise, I'm gonna. I know sometimes it's supposed to be like to encourage you and stuff, but it always reads as so fake to us. We do not like when people like... Some encouragement, it depends, really. But like, this kind just... We hate it so much. Like, the coaching kind of encouragement? Uh-uh. No, thank you. Or like, fucking what gym teachers have to do. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, like the gym teacher kind of personality. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, it's way too fucking cheery. Like... Yeah, it, it feels so you, fake. It's so fake. It's like, dude, did you just do a line or something? You have so much energy and I am not for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, though? <laughs> Kids, do a line. <laughs> <laughs> that is so much energy, and I am not here for it. Thank you. How teachers deal with America's fucked up education system so little pay. Just use what remnant money they have on a line. <laughs> what did I say? Say something to upset you. No. Your your existence upsets me, dude. Ah! The fuck are you doing? We haven't got all day, boss. Press A to jump onto the platform. Oh wow! Therapy. Excellent, boss. We're not afraid of getting stung. Right trigger to go through. The yeah, speed. Comes off so passive aggressive. Uh -huh. The tone that you're giving them right now comes off so passive aggressive. Have you never had a gym teacher be like that with you? I the get the time that we had a gym teacher, I was not part of the fucking system. True. I think one of the times I've been in the system since pretty young, but, uh, we got, the one time we ever got suspended it was for telling a gym teacher, fuck you, because he told us to run. <laughs> the one time we got detention, it was in school detention, was because we said crap too many times in front of a teacher. Yeah, ours was, um, cursing a teacher, because <laughs> we just started our period and we're cranky. <laughs> we just had a bad day and we were like <laughs> I'm like I have never fucking seen you run in my life I am not fucking running for you like some kind of fucking guinea pig and I said fuck you under my breath and the, get this, the gym teacher I said it to didn't hear <laughs> it was the other fucking gym teacher who told on me <laughs> Which, the other gym teacher, I... He was really nice. He was very... Okay, to be fair, he was kind of fake nice. He acted very nice. And very chipper. But I didn't like him because he kept making me run until I had asthma attacks over and over again. The other gym teacher... We got a different gym teacher later in high school. And the other gym teacher who was also... One of my favorite teachers was one the biology teacher. Um, knew I had asthma, so would let me walk um, because they would. We had to run in the halls because we didn't have a proper place to run sometimes. Right. Um, and the two teachers would supervise the hallways um, when this was going on. And when I was on the other teacher's um, side of the hallway, he would let me walk, but then. The other, um, the main gym teacher who I had throughout all the years I had gym would make me run until I had asthma attacks. Every time. So later on when we got the new gym teacher who'd let me walk, I did a lot better because I could walk during that part of the gym 
and then run during the other part so I wasn't having asthma attacks as much. But yeah. Actually, I think the one got in trouble because my parents called to school because I told them what was going on. I had gym first period. Mom was noticing as time went on that I was getting more and more reluctant to go to school on time. But as soon as first period was over, I was fine to go to school. So I think she knew something was up. Yeah. Um, but I had a panic attack before going to school uh, and told her what was going on. Um, her and dad called the school and next thing I know, we're not having to run as much. Because I told you, I got shin splints even for yeah. from it. And I was forced to run with shin splints because I couldn't see a doctor until they healed. Wow. Yeah. Now that's not okay. Because it was going to take me several weeks to see the doctor because they were so busy at that time. And by the time... I got into the doctor, they had healed. Ooh. And I'd had them, cause I hid it at first, um, for at least two weeks having shin, plint, shin splints, um, until I gave in and had my mom contact the doctor and they couldn't get me in for two more weeks. Yeah. I know he's been saying shit. So tell me, your burnout, is it contagious? Don't be a fucking dick. It's so easy to use. What a lazy bones. I ah, here's Cloud Isco. He missed his leaving drinks, but don't let him go without a X. Keep it up, boss. Lucky for Claude, he can't feel a thing. Fucking disco ball is a fucking disco ball. And he plays music when you hit him. And it's fucking disco music. Nice. Flexibility, boss. To cross these platforms, just press L and A. Gently does it. Oh. There you go. Okay, this dude is passive-aggressive. I swear. <laughs> Take a deep breath, boss. A and right trigger. I always forget what my... Ah. Fuck you. What about a little climb? Come on, let's climb. L and X will get the job done. See that? That's really important, boss. You can find gross solary lying, lying all around the place at Death Inc. What the fuck ever, dude. Wait, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Never forget, you love money. Come on, break the steel and get your weapon. We'll soon get that cloak of yours warmed up. That shape-shifting cloak is almost as supple as I am. Don't forget to use it with Y. Oh. Watch out, boss, because that Death Inc. minion meetings are, um, wild, er. <laughs> uh, would you believe it?
Ugh, that sucks. You're injured, boss. Look, part of your HP has turned gray. No need to worry. Harriet's here. Take this uh, anima. LB to heal, heal you. Zoom an anima to heal all your injuries. Injuries are the grayed out part of your HP. Make a note of that because it's important. What's more, you can only carry up to three at a time. But if your storage is full and you get a new one, there's no need to worry. They will be merged into a golden anima. And that's even better at healing. A golden anima heals your injuries and restores your Mitching HP. Quite effective. Excellent, boss. You've really shaped up. Well done. Let's not forget, though, so far you've only trained with my friends. They're, they've gone easy on you since you, they owe me a coffee. So from now on, it's a real thing. Keep your wits about you. Got that? Yes, yes, very well. Next time we're going to skip the tutorial, thanks goodness. Yes, haha. Uh -huh. Give it your all, boss. Even that's annoyed at him. I was right. <laughs> Not satisfied by the curses offered by your deadsery? Dreadsery, Inspector. Mr. O'Shaw, you can reroll by spending your curse reroll token. By accumulating these items on the designated corporate floors, you have a lot of room to negotiate the advantages and penalties to you by the Inspector.
at Puck. HR office, T. O. Shaw. Oh, not you again. Don't forget, boss, each weapon or spell has a different frenzy. Left trigger an X or Y or B and BAM! Out come the big guns! Stop repeating everything, Harriet. It's really getting on my nerves. I was there for the tutorial, remember? Yes, yes, you say that, but then you don't always listen. Fuck you. I don't like him. It's insufferable. Thirsty grants 5% life steal for 15 seconds. Elegant vial containing highly pressurized life steal. This is one of the Treasury's favorite ways of doing surprise inspections among employees of Death Inc. The substance is a subtle chemical composition approved by the Thirsty in an advertent rune sur service. A very reassuring administrative body, in other words. Roar. Hey! Hey, Dwarf! I haven't seen you over here in forever. How's it going? I think my glasses real quick. <laughs> yeah, a lot has happened last month, give or take. Oh. I know you've gotten a kit in the past few months. Sounds like life got busy. Hope the kid's all right, at least. <laughs> Oh, thanks for the sub. Let go. I got myself a kitten not too long ago. Got a new job working on setting up a data center and now doing some classes for being able to work with data center operations. 
Oh shoot! Remember. There it was. Try to remember which button it was. Yeah, I got hey, it. Dwarf, you definitely got a lot going on. Congrats to you. Oh, that is really cool. Sorry, it took me a minute to process everything. <laughs> I'm not always the fastest to process. It's give and take. Sometimes I'm really fast. Sometimes it's just like... Hitting nothing. <laughs> I was wondering why I keep, like, that keeps not working. It's because there's a cooldown. RB. Oh, sir, you... I work as security at a bar and the boss there is an alcoholic and started drinking at work again. Now all the workers have said, we don't work if boss is there. Boss owns the place. Oh, jeez. No, but I get that. Um... That's... We had two yeah, that's... people quit. Yeah? Ooh. I mean, understandable, because but damn. That. Yeah? No, I... I don't blame them. <laughs> that looks... I sounds like things... Next month or in two months. Okay. It looks like things are improving slowly, though, at least. Just busy. Which, to be fair, I'm going to be busy here in a few months because I'm going to be starting school again. Or I'm hoping to. I'm working on getting things arranged to start school again anyway. That's it. Oh, sir, you finally decide to step out of your office. Hooray. Work at Death Inc. goes on with or without you. I'll spell your my, you my own thoughts on the matter. Your absence hasn't stopped the sorrows from going above and beyond. We've got our work cut out. Curses, for example, if you can remember. Assaulting an employee costs the company money. Minions, too, when it comes to it. Curses can help with that. Look. Are you exited for school? Um, I'm currently on, like, a hiatus. Um, but I plan to return in, uh, summer. Um, I'm in college, or I'll be back in college here in a few months. Unless I don't know what exited means, and it's a European thing. I think I'm gonna go with health. Me spelling everything wrong, XD. Excited. Oh, <laughs> I, I was like... Know. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited to go back. Um, I think I know, I'm thinking I'm gonna go get my degrees and then I'm thinking about trying for a master's in library sciences, um, which I think I should be able to get into with my degree. I have to double check everything, but I already have my degree half finished, so I hope to finish it either way. Um, and then... Ideally, I think it'd be really cool if I could get into, like, book conservation or something like that, but otherwise I'll just be a librarian. Doesn't pay the best, but it's actually, it's good job. <laughs> um, I like libraries and stuff. I grew up in them, and you have libraries everywhere, so it's somewhere hopefully I can get a job in. No. Say that again. Oh, 
Oh, the axe. Please. Fuck it. Um, sorry. What was I saying? I just got distracted. Um, I'm hoping to get a uh, Masters of Library Science, um, as, um, and ideally it'd be cool to take that to go into book conservation, but otherwise, um, probably going into becoming a librarian, which doesn't always pay the best, but it is a, usually, you can find them everywhere and they're usually pretty good jobs, from what I understand. Less stressful than a lot of other jobs anyway. And I love books. I grew up in libraries. I... So, being in the library... The master keeper of books come. and tomes. Yes. And there's usually everywhere has libraries that you can get a job in. Well... Whether they have jobs open is a question, but usually you can find Happy smile. library somewhere. <laughs> anyway. But with a degree in library sciences, it opens up a lot more jobs in library and um, working in libraries. Like, because um, especially like university libraries, um, usually university libraries, they want you, um, unless, like, you're a student or something, but a lot of their libraries have, um, their masters in library sciences. Um, many of them even have multiple degrees, actually. Um, uh, when I did an assistant in the library, I know one of my bosses had a degree in, obviously, the masters in library science, because that was required for the role, but... For the role of like a manager in the library um but the and then they had a degree in like uh history i think and something else i think they had a degree in history and i think they also might have had a nursing degree or some kind of certification for nursing That's actually kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any? TFW, I wanted first to become an IT guy, then it turned to nursing. Now it is data center tech slash operator. I mean, that's fair. Um, it very much depends on like what a person's availability is in an area, I think. Um, and you can, if you, um, sometimes you can do surprising things with degrees that people don't realize, I think. Because sometimes you can get jobs that don't care what degree you have, they just want you to have a degree. Hate these flying dudes, they're a pain in the ass. Aztecs or Old Egypt to then become a professor who teaches it.
Wait, who has that degree? Some things are just stupid though, like the value for a degree is lowered by the amount of jobs saying it is necessary sad face. Yeah. Like, some of the jobs anymore that require degrees, I do not think are necessary. Because there's a lot of jobs that they started requiring a degree for that people did just fine without degrees doing that same job for a long time. But they decided to up the what was needed to get the job. And it's like, why? Why is that degree necessary and why are you making people go into debt to have a fucking job? And then the amount of people who don't have a degree but do that same job in Norway write bachelors and masters because of the value of the degree is ruined. So they will say they have a bachelor's or masters instead of saying they have a doctorate. That's ridiculous if that's true. Um, because, I mean, I just know of, like, there's a lot of people, like, where they'll have, I know, jobs, and it'll be listed, and it doesn't actually really need a degree for it, or, like, then you go there, and there's someone above you, or who's doing the same job, but was grandfathered in, it is bachelor, three and years, it's like, master, five years, doctor, yeah, seven years. Here, it's four years for a bachelor, six years for a master, and a doctorate for eight. Um, but if someone is grandfathered into that work, then there, that's probably a good sign that work didn't actually need that degree in the first place. If they're doing fine and don't have a degree at that job, then... The degree may not have been necessary, but it's just another hurdle for pe younger people, primarily, to have to jump through. And it's, it annoys me sometimes. Like, I like getting a degree, and I think people, I think degrees are nice, if, especially if you want to work in academia. Absolutely. But, like, for some other things, it's like, no, why? I think you should be able to get good paying jobs without a degree. Easily get them and not have to run yourself in order to get them or work those jobs. People should not be killing themselves working jobs just because they don't have a degree. And also something else that I just realized, a lot of those jobs that like a lot of the jobs that allow you to sit down and that are more friendly to people who are disabled are not ones that are easily accessible all the time. Which is kind of sad. Or they want you to have degrees to be able to work in those jobs even if the job itself doesn't require it, you know? Hmm.
Oh, dude. Boss! Oh, Boss! I'm so pleased to see you! And you've got your pit book with you! Isn't it adorable? Drive a forklift. A degree in something relationing to warehouse to be allowed to drive a forklift. I mean, there's certifications, but I know here in the U.S. anyway, you don't have to get a degree to do that. You just have to get certified, which you're, you most companies should be able to certify you, really. And the certification is super easy. Um, I know someone who was, well, my ex-fiance was going through the certification exam. And it was literally just like... We do same here, but it is soon getting to that point. Oh, yeah. Feels like it. And it... I don't know about where you live. I know here in the U.S. it's even more ridiculous because of how much college costs. Uh, like, some places have it where you can go for free. If I remember right, Dwarf lives uh, in Scandinavia. Yeah, I don't... I don't want to disclose which country. I know, but I still can't say whether they have free college or not. Uh, I have no clue which countries there have it. I don't remember if they have free college or not, but I know college is a lot more affordable in the EU in general compared to the US. Actually, wait, is Sweden in the EU right now? Hold on. I think so. What about other ones? Because I know Finland was also uh, getting into the E was recently voted to be accepted into the EU. Which was a blow to Russia. Um, but, yeah, it's... Sweden is in EU and EU Union. Yeah, okay. Uh, but, yeah, we have, like, here in the U.S., like, one year of college on average costs you about $10,000. Which is, most people, especially if you grew up working class, can't afford that. Um, I got through on some scholarships initially, and now I'm getting it paid through um, a disability service because um, a government-run disability service um, for those who have disabilities because I qualified. So I now have pretty much my college mostly covered, like, in terms of, like, tuition and stuff. Um, I can get tuition and I can get reimbursed for um, books, but that's it. Well, I can get, like, help with travel expenses to a degree, like, getting reimbursed and stuff like that. It's just having to... Um, so I'll probably do a lot of that, honestly. But it's gonna be, uh, more paperwork, which is gonna suck. So here is 12k per year for a master's. Okay. And do you get, like, help with that at all? And you've got your pit book with you. Isn't it adorable? Did you know your pit book notes everything down for you? Just press that and you're done. It is very cute, but er, I don't really like the way it's looking at me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to speak to you. This size. Oh, I kind of like the sickles, though. Government has a few schemes to make it easier for people. Like if you take government student loan, you can get 40% of the loan cut by completing the education year. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we don't have anything like that here. 
Which I think their jobs tend to pay more over there too. Like here, there's a lot of issues with our minimum wage not catching up to like what actual cost of living is at all. I want to say Jobs your money tends to about the same. Yeah. Like earnings. Is it? I was thinking over there that it tended to be a lot better in terms of balancing like, uh, I guess cost of living versus like what the earnings are because over here like the minimum wage over here isn't even enough to be able to live by like you can't afford rent or food or if you're lucky you might be able to afford rent and sometimes food like that kind of bad Like, a high schooler can get by on our minimum wage, but if you want to actually have a life while working minimum wage, it's not going to do anything. We don't have minimum wage in Norway. Huh. It got put over here because if we they didn't, then um, jobs would try to pay people and people would be literally starving. I mean... People are literally starving, but it was even worse in the past. Yeah. But unfortunately, with a lot of stuff, especially related to disability, like disabled workers, um, they've not updated. Get, a lot of companies get away with paying disabled works, the like disabled folks below minimum wage. Oh yeah, because they deem disabled mm -hmm. folks as only as only able to basically create only part of the work of an enabled person. Deeming disabled people basically subhuman and but only work subhuman. unions that have minimum wages. That is specifically there, those with, um, primarily only those with, um, intellectual disabilities. Wage. I know, but it's still a problem. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, I agree. Huh. Yeah, over here, um... I think it was probably around the Great Depression era where things had to change because people were, well, there's a good reason it was called the Great Depression. <laughs> people were starving. Um, we also get a bunch of different slang terms from that, like, um, have you ever heard of the term, it's not used as much, but a Hoover heater? Um, a Hoover heater is named after the president of the time, um, Herbert Hoover. Yep, and well, it's a worldwide depression currently going on. There is. I know the Hoover heater is uh, specifically it's a metal like drum that you fill with like trash and stuff to light on fire to warm yourself outside. Um, and then there's a few other slang terms that mean similar things. Nice, I know what a hover vacuum is, but that is what we call a barrel fire. Yeah, that's actually because of, uh... Hoover Heater started, um... Because of the, um... What I was just telling you about. Power over speed and speed. I don't want to try this actually. And your moccasins. <laughs> um, a Hoover is also a vacuum brand, yeah. 
over here Hoover is a brand, but in the EU and the UK, I know it's now become slang for just a vacuum cleaner. Due to the um brand. Kind of like how yep. we call p tissues um Kleenexes. Or chapstick um lip balm. Is actually lip balm. So yeah. I'd say a tap of 2.5 or perhaps a toasty three. Then let's crank that thermometer up to 10. Come on, let's break in your brand new weight room. Why don't you give us the guided tour? Hey, hang on a second. Have you turned my old torture chamber into a gym? Don't you think that's going a bit too far? Waste not, what not, boss. The new room is designed for you to train with the equipment you've chosen to invest in. Each time you buy a scythe, cloak, weapon, or even a spell from Joe, you come straight here to try it out on my assistant. Ta-da, Claudie! I just found something adorable. Uh, don't worry, this time it's all above board. Cloud has consented to being your sparring partner. I've trained him to steal himself against your attacks. So don't be afraid to really let loose. Don't forget to set, stay 100% corporate, 100% disco. What the fuck? Why disco? Like this. You remember Scratch from Baldur's Gate, yeah? Yeah. Look at the goodest boy. Mm. Look at the good boy. Because <laughs> apparently in the latest patch, uh, Scratch can no longer equip certain weapons. And so someone decided to draw Scratch with the oh! Everburn Blade. I wonder if that's also supposed to be a reference to, um, Steve. Maybe? No, it's not Steve. It's a. She's. A, what is her name? She's a good girl in Dark Souls. She's a wolf who wields a blade in yeah. her mouth. No, it was it. It was Steve. You got it. It is okay. The great gray wolf, Steve. Okay. Yeah, Sif. Can't remember if it's Sif or Steve. Seif, which makes it more confusing because there's also, is it Seif? This, the scaleless dragon. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Scaleless dragon. Dark yeah, Souls. That would be like Seif, like yeah. S-C-A-T-H, so probably Seif yeah. would be a better pronunciation for the good girl. Renovation, inspection, architecture, art. Passion, imminence. Ah, oh, Reverend, I just want to talk to you about... Silence, you're breaking her concentration. No, it doesn't work like that at all. You've interrupted her focus. She is displeased with you. Why have you deigned to interrupt her? Can we talk business and discuss the office re renovation, Reverend, once and for all? Undoubtedly, but... You must also honor the tournaments in of each order in gold ingots. In ingots? Gold grief. Good grief. Well, at least you have your head screwed on. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going right now. Sif, the great gray wolf. Adorable as everything even though he wolds a sword with his mouth. Mm-hmm, he's go- they're good as boy. Boss, 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 good morning or evening, whatever, not important. The sorrows are out of control, quotas have risen astronomically, I'll spare you the details. You got a few ingots to spend? God, that- It's hard to talk fast. <laughs> without accidentally spitting. Let's do this real quick before I kick the bucket. Oh, and how's you, how's the family life?
Hang on, what is that? Surprise, Mr. CEO, sir. I'm delighted to announce that Miss Muriel the Reverend is working on an evolving pictorial series. Come now. And did Muriel provide any information about mm, her work? Ah, yes, of course, Mr. CEO, sir. This time her subject is, um, ahem, the onerousness of work. Apparently she was inspired by your brush with burnout. Sorry. The more difficult it is, the more epic and representative of her, the hard work you do her creations become. This is the Breakdown series. Note here the contrast between the richness of the sculptured altar and the simplicity of this barely scribbled upon post-it. Fascinating. Imminent Breakdown is what it's called. Well, I sure am glad to see you again. Yes, yes, it's so nice to catch up. But let's skip the small talk, shall we? The scaleless In white boy who is misunderstood by his own. Yes. In accordance with bulletin B66, you may not access the elevator until you sign a form. Don't make that face. Rules are rules, so let's go. Love Dark Souls, I made a streamer I know have a punishment list for each death. Boss would be so kind. Explain it to you one more time, Pump, so listen up. A Prismium can be used to buy an upgrade or transform formation for years weapons and spells. My throat's hurting. <laughs> Every time he died he had to take a sip of water. Oh no. Evil face. <laughs> Change this until your fish is tired, unfortunately. Item you want. Well, Prismium lets you expand a shop with a bigger selection. Alright, I'll add that to my report. Ah, uh, okay. He died something like 410 times or something. I don't have a cloak. What? Why don't I have a fucking cloak ability? One of the punishments was clown outfit with makeup. Another was to eat a Carolina Reaper. I know, I think I was going for twinsies. Roar. Oh no! No! <laughs> Dr 
Dragonor. Six. Hmm. Since you said your throat hurts, have something to drink. Oh, thanks for the hydrate, Dwarf! I'm just on through these seeing what I got. <gasps> also, you should make sure you don't go that rough with oral XD. Oh my god, you are! I'll make sure next time I don't. <laughs> What's this ground in front of you? Caught in 256k. <laughs> Set off exploding skulls. Time bomb. Lightning bolts. Flaming meteors. I kind of want to try this. Oh, that is actually a cool ability, though. I'm making a diagram of the Well of Souls for my training report. It's there behind me. So once the big boss, aka you, haha, approves an application, the corresponding soul can be sucked into the well. I bet it tickles. Once it has arrived in the great beyond, the system can reissue its essence in the form of a solaria for death. Inks employees. Patrick suggested I add some little stars to really show that it's magic. Oh. Uh, Rhodes doing all right. Um, he's in the background. Imminent breakdown. Been I've been here XD just chilling. Dynamite boss! What do you think this newfangled contraption is then? It's a wardrobe. Wow, so much enthusiasm! I like it! Yes, well, Orville and Mario worked on it together. You can choose your size before you go to work. It's an easy way to vary your build, see? One thing to remember, each size scythe has its own transformation. So you'll need to check that with Orville in the control room. Well, Dynamite. Yes, yes, dynamite. Thanks, Harriet. At Roto Dusk underscore VT, quickly run over and give Magnus a kiss for good voice work. At Dwarf Sking Dwarf I. Hey, Teddy!
Having a nice death before dating death again? What the fuck did you do to my... You are a bastard! Why do I not have my shit? To all my fucking magic and shit. What the fuck? Do I not take it with me? Magnus, when does a joke become a dad joke? When you become a dad. When it becomes That was very dad. sudden. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> L U L. Oh, that was good. That was good. I'll go with that one. The TAM department? I got a dark joke too that I want to tell. What is it? Ah. How do you make a rave in Somalia? How? Yes, of toast to the cave ceiling. You nail a piece of toast to the... I actually don't get that one. They are too poor to get food, so they jump for the bread. No! Don't make a joke like that, dwarf! 
That's bad. XD. That is oh. dark. Yeah! Definitely is. Also, maybe, at least to my brain, a little bit racist. Let's try not to do that. Yeah. A little bit elitist. I am trying to remember another good joke. Rough time though. I got a really bad one, as in not a good joke. Oh? Are you gonna torture us with this a time? A drum and a snake fell down a cliff. B A D U M T S S. Oh, and I died. Crested paperwork. Curses.
Roar, roar, roar. <laughs> Bunch of awesome graham crackers. I have just eaten some popcorn. Boy, popcorn's always fun. I think I should go back to doing my IBM introduction. IBM introduction? Heart of death. Don't pay much attention to the vast piles of paperwork lying around. They're mostly just for decoration. Going the goal is to create an environment that is conductive to completing administ- Oof. That sounds like, a uh, sarcastic fun. <laughs> Looking around, the offices makes you want to die of boredom. It means you it's working. The paperwork died. <laughs> the paperwork died. Or is dead. Wait. I think I'm getting the hang of this a bit. Use poison, gain a retray. Damage of changing weapons in the middle of combo. Mm. Oh, poison. I mean, the next thing I will do is cryptography and data science with Databricks for data analyst specialization. Not gonna lie, that sounds like a nightmare for me. So much data. What? I can't compute sometime. Yeah, I have dyscalculia, and so, like, honestly, when it comes to, like, a lot of, some computer stuff, I just get confused. Like, it, it does not make sense to me. That was a mediocre computer joke. <laughs> I kind of interpret it as both, because, like, you know, compute, because computers. Oh, 
Oh. Nature to answer, yeah. it's now or never. I'll probably give you a part of my French. Basic IT and service stud guys from before so most of the stuff I am going through is same shit I have gone through before. I am so confused. Ah, uh, that makes it just really boring. Um, I have a... Uh... I'm kind of going into more of a reading intense field, thankfully. Um, I was wanting to be a vet, which I would have had, huh? admittedly, due to my, my computer was super effective. <laughs> um, I'm wanting to be a vet eventually, so I used to want to be a vet, specifically a uh, veterinarian, and so. Um, the degree I was gonna have to go for, admittedly, would have required a lot of, uh, calculations and math. Which is what it- I mean, I would have still tried to, and I think I would have been a great vet, but I just reached burnout and then couldn't. And now I kind of avoid math as much as I can. Or as much as I can, to be honest. Because, like, if you- it's very easy for me to get confused with numbers and, like, procedural stuff. Because of, I don't know, it just, it's weird. Do a Jocelyn thing. What Leon Clean does it in his spare time? Imagine him playing the little knight riding on his vacuum cleaner. It's ridiculous. Thank you, Jocelyn. That's what I thought. I regret learning more. I sent at Roto Dusk underscore VT something. The both of you have to watch it. Okay. We have to after this round. Arcane, polish, gain, retrain, skills, ten. Either club Okay. Try this. Back to your old cell. I guess I'll try this again. Might be focused here in a minute.
Danager's office, W. Um. Oh, not you. Watch out, boss! Action! Reaction! It's me again! Oh, Harriet. I thought I'd gotten rid of you. Don't look so down, boss! You'll love what I'm about to tell you! You've earned a golden anima! Fantastic! Yes, I- yes, yes, I know. Golden animas give you a pure heal, they heal injuries, and they restore full HP, yada yada yada. A low press of LB to consume a blue one, a long press to consume a golden one. Both supple and strong. I don't like you, dude. Dodge attack? Oh, I guess that would be it. Okay. Good to know. Oh! Whoa! That's not something I expected! Ah! Did it! I finally learned the dodge! Dwarf said they sent you something? Yeah. They, they're poking their cat. Oh! <laughs> and then. <laughs> oh. Blankets. But what do you want for knobs? Uh. How I annoy my kitty.
zero sound? Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Absorbent and yellow and porous is he SpongeBob SquarePants. If nautical nonsense be something you wish SpongeBob SquarePants. Then drop on the deck and flop like a fish. SpongeBob SquarePants. Ready. SpongeBob SquarePants.
Sorry, I had to deal with something real quick. Are you ready, kids? I, I, Captain. I can't hear you. <laughs> I, I, Captain. Oh. I had it muted because I had to deal with something real quick. Um. Anyway, actually, now is about the time for me to end stream. Anyway, um. Or as... you could go on until eight and right after. Hey, w w Had to mute again, sorry. It's way past eight, though. <laughs> Not for me. Um, I'm just. I have something I have to do at five, so I have to end things now. Or else I would continue, but I have other sure. obligations. Oh, I'm trying to decide on who to rate out to. Have a good evening slash night. What I might do to her. Okay. Oh, um, trivia. Oh, fuck. What kind of trivia is it? Chef's choice. Ooh. Um. Oh, gods. Thanks for the hydrate. Um. Try to think of trivia. One of these days I'm going to make a trivia list to go down, I swear. <laughs> um, I guess a fun fact that's kind of like an herbalism thing, an old like folk remedy for um um uh old folk remedy for like um PMS and like um period issues used to be rose hips. Um, wild roses specifically tend to produce really well, um, large rose hips that can be made into teas that can be used to help with, um, period issues. Also, uh, another good thing for, like, if you're on your period, um, would be, uh, red raspberry leaf tea, it, which is really good. Raid. Raid message. Here we go. Coffee. And then, okay, with that said, I hope everyone has a good evening, night, fallen asleep. whatever is there. Oh, that's adorable. And with that said, uh, another clan and its followers arrive from they, the mists of night. X Alvaro Epsilon Tau Epsilon Kyrie.